And have you ever wondered how the Philippines approaches the wild world of cryptocurrency? Well, buckle up, because we're diving deep into the fascinating regulatory landscape of this Pacific island and nation. Um, first off, let me introduce you to two key players in this tale. Banco Central NG Filipinas and the Securities and Exchange Commission. While BSP acts as the central banking authority, the SEC takes charge of securities, investments, and financial instruments. Together, they've established a regulatory framework for virtual currencies, recognizing their increasing popularity among the Philippines' population. Now, what exactly does this mean for our crypto enthusiasts? Um, individuals or businesses operating VC exchanges must follow specific guidelines. They need to register with the BSP and comply with operational mandates, ensuring protection for the financial system. Meanwhile, the SEC oversees initial coin offerings, ICOs, and uses crypto in investment schemes. The uh, but wait, there's more. The BSP expanded its reach by issuing advanced electronic payments and financial services licenses even to non-traditional entities like coins.ph. Don't forget about anti-money laundering measures. KYC processes are becoming increasingly sophisticated, especially since the Philippines doesn't have a unified national ID card. Let's take a peek at some milestones in the timeline of Philippine crypto regulations. Uh, May 9, 2024. BSP approves a pilot program for a stable coin called PHPC, paving the way for innovative fintech solutions. On January 25th, 2023, SEC issues draft implementing rules and regulations for Republic Act number 11765, focusing on consumer protection and empowering regulators. Uh, December 22nd, 2022. SEC warns the public against dealing with unlicensed exchanges. Uh, January 1st, 2024, tighten travel rule requirements for crypto transactions. Uh, and speaking of taxes, did you know that the Philippines imposes a capital gains tax of up to 15% on cryptocurrency transactions? So keep those records straight come tax and feed to season. And so there you had a, a glimpse into the intriguing world of cryptocurrency regulations in the Philippines with its forward thinking attitude and adaptability. This dynamic economy continues to attract crypto investors worldwide. Who knows what exciting developments lie ahead. Uh, with that said, thanks for joining me on this journey through the Philippines crypto scene. Um, stay tuned for more stories from the world of finance uh, and technology. Uh, uh, oh, and here's a little joke to lighten the mood. Why don't computers take their hats off when entering buildings? because they're bite-sized and think they fit right in.